Hello everybody, it's uh, Uncle Steve here again to tell y'all about some more video games. Uh, ones I picked up there at uh, Too Many Games and uh, you know how the joke go. People always talk about how, you know, it's too many game, it's not enough game, it's too many game. But I think it was just the right amount of games. Alright, I'm gonna get started showing y'all this Game Boy game I picked up. Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. You know what they say about Belmont, it carries a big whip and a bigger heart. Next up, this game here is a very uh, hard to find game for the Nintendo 64. And that's Transformers Beast Wars Transmetals, which is like three names in one. That is, that is I thought it was three different video games. But it's just one game about Transformers. Next up is this scary game right here. Fatal Frame 3. I'm going to play this with my buddy because I get scared. This is about this woman. She takes pictures of stuff. And when her camera shows her ghosts and stuff like that, I'd get rid of a camera like that. Up next here is Jaws Unleashed. Now, the thing about Jaws is he's a fish. You can't put a fish on a leash. They're not a dog. But in this game, you get to play as jaw. You can swim through the ocean and eat people like that. Next few items I got from my buddy, Nintendo Hard. He does his own show up in Barrie, Canada. And this game here sucks, but I got the manual for it there. It's Pictionary for the Nintendo NES system. I also got a manual for a game I don't even own called Bob. Bob looks like a bug that's just not happy with his life. He wish he, well he's a robot, not a bug. He's a bug robot. He's a bug bot. I wonder if that's what Bob stands for. Big old bug bot, something like that, I don't know. And then I came with a poster of him. My name's Bob. Also got a manual for Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. And I gotta say, if you got Seeds of Evil, don't plant them. Other thing I got is Tetrasphere. I ain't never played Tetrasphere. I thought Tetris was, were just square blocks. You add spheres into the mix. I don't know what I'm doing. All these next games I picked up from a guy, uh, NJ Retro. And this guy is the sweetest guy ever. He gave me so many good deals on games. I picked up City Builder for the Wii. And the cool thing about this game is you build cities and stuff like that, like real cute like. Look, there is a mole. Look at that mole there. Ain't he cute? This city's crazy. I was reading the back of it, and it's like, you can find Bigfoot in it. How crazy is that? Bigfoot in a city game? That's cool. Also picked up a sealed copy of a game I already owned on accident, but this is a sealed copy, so that's kind of cool stuff like that. It's called Ape Escape on the Loose. Basically, all these apes are on the loose, and you got to hunt them down and shoot them to death. Next up is The House of the Dead 3. And I gotta be honest, if I went into a house of dead once, I would not go back two other times. Next up is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I'm assuming the symphony is the sound of lightning repeatedly striking this big building. Up next, four games in one, Quattro Arcade. It comes with F-16 Renegade. That's probably about planes. It comes with CJ Elephant's Antics. Probably about an elephant that does mean stuff to people. There's Go Dizzy Go. It's about an egg who can't hold his liquor. And then there's Stunt Buggies. I don't even know what's going on in that picture. I got some other manuals from him. I'll go through these real quick. I got Double Dragon 3, which is a stupid dumb game. I got Dick Tracy. I got I got Big Bird's Hide and Speak, which is two things you shouldn't do at the same time. If you're hiding, shut up. I got 25th Anniversary of Jeopardy, but the answers are not in here. I got I got Jaws, but in this game you kill Jaws. I got John Elway quarterback, and in this game, you killed John Elway. I got the chess master. I got Vegas Dream. I got Hogan's Alley. 
I got Star Tropics, but guess what? It's got the letter that you need to beat the game. You got to have a letter. Dear, it says Dear Mike on it. You got to have that letter. And guess what? Guess what? I wrote this letter to Mike. That's my letter to Mike. It's the hunt for Red October, but they ain't ever gonna find it. October is mostly orange. I got a box copy of Rally Bike. Yeah, everybody likes biking on water. I got Abadox, which kind of sounds like somebody was pointing at a box and got confused. They meant to say, at a box, but instead it came out as Abadox, and so they made a game that looks nothing like this. Lastly is a box copy of Super C, and the C must stand for Contra. Thank you, NJ Retro. I don't know how you're able to give me the deals you did. I'm assuming it has something to either do with drugs or government secrets, but after we hung out late that night, I got the feeling you would not be good at keeping secrets. So I'm sorry that you have to deal drugs. You are really cool though. Good luck with your venture. And that's part one of my two part series in games I brought home from too many games. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in part two. Uncle Steve.